Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here bringing you a haul video. Yay! So this is a thrift and garage sale haul. A little bit from yesterday, and most of it is from today. Uh, today our Gulf Coast reseller meetup group met, and we had a really good time. We went around to a bunch of thrift stores, and we had lunch together, and so it was really, really fun. So if you haven't got a group in your area, I highly suggest setting something up uh, because we've ha we've had a few meetups and it's been really good. You know, just getting to sit down and talk to other people or wander around a thrift store with other resellers and see what what are you picking up? Why do you pick this up? I never thought of that. You know, so yeah, it's it's worth the uh, the creating a Facebook group and saying, hey, if you're in my area, let's do this. So some people want to share, some people don't, but I have found it to be really beneficial and enjoyable. So let me say hey in the chat and then we'll jump into the haul um, and I'll show you what I've got. So I see Latest Grace was there. Hi first, you were first. Hi Henry and the Celtic Traders. Hi Caroline, I think it's the Caroline. It's not the other half, is it? <laughs> Hi there, uh, Noel and Jessica and hello Diana and Kelly. I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Hey Lonnie Garage Flips. And Melissa and Nini and Lindsay and Nevada and Joni. Hello. Hello, John. Oh, wow. We've got lots of friends. <laughs> I could be, hey, is it here? Boy, it's late for you guys. Hey, what you selling? And Karen and Cindy and Michelle and Jill and Mick Mickey. Okay. And Thrifty Living and Carol. Okay. I know I, I'm sure I skipped some people, but hello, everybody. And I love saying hello to everybody. And I know it's super annoying, but I, and I know I say it every time. And then somebody says, don't say it. I still do. Uh, whatever. Okay. So, Hi, everybody. Okay, so yeah, like I say, we had a really good time today. Oh, hey, Rad Seller. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm going to quit saying hi for the moment. But I'm super happy that everyone is here. And yeah, this is why I do it. I do it to say hello to all my wonderful friends that come to see the show. I, don't know. I like to talk to people. What, what? What's the matter with that? All right. <laughs> Let me. Oh, hey, Andrea in the chat. I, I piled some things on top of other things. So I'm get these things sorted out. All right, here we go. Okay, so one of the things I picked up yesterday at a garage sale um, was this cat trivet. I, I become a crazy cat lady. I'm drawn to cat stuff, but I know it also sells. So I picked up this really dusty, it's really gross and dusty, cat trivet. And I guess you could hang it on the wall too. Somebody may have been hanging it on the wall. I don't know. So this was a buck because I got this and then this little thing is a dud. So it was a buck fifty for the two of these things at this garage sale. I was like, yeah, it's fifty cents. I'll I'll check it out. So <laughs> you can clip it on your phone, and it's a lens thing. But anyway, it turns out it's a dud. So hello, uh, Nick. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so here we go. Let me screen share with you the cat trivet and what it's going for. Let me screen share. Here we go. So here we have the kitty trivet that I've got um, selling for, these are sold, so here's one that sold for $14.50, and yes, yes, Etsy, uh, Poetry of Nice says, Etsy um, Gold, if the cat tray is vintage, it is 1998, I think that falls right, it's, now it's 1998 or before, correct? <laughs> I think, okay, so yeah, there are some that are lower. Uh, but I am thinking that this is going to be a good price. I do. So I'm going to put this on eBay and Etsy cross-posted, and we'll see how it goes, right? Um, so hi, oh, 69 viewers. Hi, everybody. Okay, let's see what is next. Okay, so then I got this today. I'm kind of going out of order of when I got stuff. So I got this today during our Gulf Coast reseller meetup. And it is a cast iron, I think it's pretty heavy, cast iron rabbit. He looks like he was supposed, like he used to have something that maybe he was pushing or else he's like up on his hind legs and he's like fighting somebody like, wait, what you doing? What you talking about me? Quack, quack, right? So, um, <laughs> so yeah, this, I couldn't find one just like him. I think he was three bucks. So... I put three bucks. <laughs> I'll have to look at my receipt, but it says three bucks on the bottom. Isn't he cool? So let's see what I found. I couldn't find the same exact one. Um, but, you know, cast iron, cute rabbit, bunny. I think it's going to do, do pretty good. Doorstop, yeah. 
I have one. It's missing a basket. Christina says, oh, okay, good, good, good. Well, not good that it's missing the basket, but good. I, I kept thinking, man, it's missing something. So here are some on eBay. And, you know, they're kind of all over the place depending on age. Like this one is way older. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to probably put like 30 bucks on it, maybe more. Tell me what you think. Um, let me see if I have one open. No, that's something else. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put at least 30 bucks on it. So we'll see, uh, on that one, even though he's missing the basket, I couldn't find one just like him though. Maybe if I type it in with the basket, it would pop up maybe. So, and then I got this yesterday at the Goodwill. So this is a game that I had never heard of. And honestly, when I, I, when I saw this, I thought of you, Joni, if you're still in there. I thought they were tarot cards when I first saw them. It says the Great Delmuti. Um, and it's, you know, it's got these tarot looking cards, but it turns out it's not tarot cards. It's a game, uh, but the cards are still new and sealed in there. They're still wrapped in their cellophane. Oh, you see Leia. That's Leia. <laughs> they're still wrapped in their cellophane. Um, but I didn't, it's not... Um, tarot cards. That's what I thought it was. I was like, ooh, awesome. But no, it's not. So let me screen share on this one for you. Pancakes are in here somewhere. Yeah, he's down on the floor. <laughs> that one, the, the calico one is Leia. That's my water, Leia. Oh, I, I'm presenting the wrong thing. Hang on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Leia, come on, hun. <laughs> You're distracting me. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So these are the different, okay, this is sold. Yeah, these are sold. And, you know, they're kind of all over the place. Like one sold for 30. I can't list it as new. Even though the cards are new, the packaging is not. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, the packaging is not new, like gift. I can say, you know, it's like use like new and just say, yeah, they're still sealed in the cellophane. Um, but still, you know, I might list them for 14 bucks. I see quite a few sold for that. This one was a bid. I don't really do that, so. I mean, maybe I'll put 15 bucks with best offer. Yeah, why not? That's not too bad. So those were $2 at the Goodwill. Um, yeah, Lonnie, tarot cards can be really good money. And whenever I find them, I send them to Joni because Joni collects them. So I got a built-in friend, but I don't know. I just send them. All right, next up. Leia, are you still there? Okay. I'm just saying, earlier, Pancake knocked over my Jane figure. You better not. Look, my... Oh, it's not good. So, yeah, Pancake knocked Jane over earlier. So I got kind of ticked. All right, so let's see. Is there a – okay, I must be looking at the wrong um, question. Okay, let me know if there's a question I missed because I'm not really paying close attention in the chat. Okay, so here we go. Next up, let me see what I have. Okay, the next thing is kind of a dud, but I was – you know, I wasn't going to look every single thing up. I picked up these cards – and they are Benson and Hedges, like the cigarette brand. I was like, yeah, okay, they were 49 cents. But it turns out they're not really worth much. They might be worth 49 cents. <laughs> so let me share uh, what I found out over here. So yeah, these sold like here, a buck fifty, but that's an auction. But really, no, they're really not. So they'll probably end up in the redonate pile. Yeah, because they just probably will. Hi, Jane. How's it going? Okay, still. Okay, <laughs> that's a side chat. They're talking about something else. Okay, so next up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I was at NASA this past Wednesday on my son's field trip, and this is what I found at the Goodwill today. So this was Manned Spacecraft Center, Houston, Texas, and they are vintage. NASA bridge set. So I've got to see, you know, make sure that all the cards are there. I only saw one other set that was up and it's not going for as much as I would like it to have been going for. So let's see, this was me searching. So I found it here. It's, it's ended, but the person didn't relist. Like I couldn't find it on eBay or Etsy or anywhere. So, yeah, this is, I'm going to list it for higher than 15 bucks, I think. I really do. I think I can get more than that, honestly. So, I mean, providing that all the cards are there, worst case scenario, they can go as a, um, like a supply on Etsy. Somebody might want, 
you know, if they're making a scrapbook or something and they might just want like that logo, that emblem, you know, for, for NASA, right? They're kind of aged. They're well loved. I'll just put it that way. These are well loved cards for sure. Are they cool? Nick says, uh, roughly what percentage of your turnover comes from Etsy? Um, it's about half general. I mean, like it depends on the month or the week, but usually half, half and half. Uh, during fourth quarter, my Etsy sales are usually outweigh, outdo my eBay sales though, generally. Um, Christina says, curious on why you don't do auctions on eBay. I'm new to online selling. Well, it kind of depends for me, like on what the item is. Like if it's just something that I think could take off, then I might, but I, I don't, <laughs> I just don't. I did when I was cleaning everything out, I thought, you know what, let me put a few things on auction. And I did have a few things sell, like when I was just trying to get rid of some things. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to just put it up on auction and let it go. So, but then I never, I don't normally start them lower than like what I want to get. Like if I want to get, you know, 10 bucks for it at least, then I'd make sure I start the auction there. So I don't, you know, yeah, <laughs> not get enough money. And then, okay, so here's next. I got this vase at, oh gosh, I think I, I got it just recently, and now I'm like, I can't remember, but I think I got it at Jenny's garage sale, the last one that she swears she's having. So, oh, hey, old Haggis Hunter. So look at this. I mean, it's awesome. So this part of the vase is not glazed, like this black part, but then these calla lilies and the leaves are glazed. I'm like, how? Okay, so cool, right? So there's this. There's some crazing on that, but it may have just been like happened. it happened in the firing process. It's signed... Brenda 99 so I couldn't find one like it but I think it's so cool um I'm gonna look back in the chat in just a second okay but I couldn't like I said I couldn't find one just like it but I think I'm gonna go high on that isn't it awesome those calla lilies are so awesome um okay let's see what I found so yeah I mean like I said I didn't find one just like it this is on eBay yeah, I just, I liked how part of it was glazed and part of it was not glazed. <laughs> Nick says, not sure if that vase is gorgeous or ugly. <laughs> it's gorgeous, darling. It's gorgeous. So here's one for 50, but it's, yeah. And then there's going to be somebody who that, you know, calla lilies, that's their thing and they're just going to love it. So I'll probably put at least 50 on it. Yeah, I, I think is what I'll do. Because as I say, I can't find one just like it at all. Raquel Pottery, Raku, R-A-K-U or Raquel? Okay, I'll have to look that up because I don't know. Um, okay, if I missed, if you have a question in the chat and I missed it, repost it because I don't want to spend too long like scrolling back up. And Julie says, getting serious about my jewelry jar pile this week. Yay, I think I need to be more picky about what to list, but the weird simple stuff sells. It's true, I like that, you know, red, white, and blue, bracelet. I mean, yeah, I got it from a jar, jewelry jar, plastic with the American flag, American flag on it. Got that American flag and we sold it for what was it? What was it? 10 bucks, 11 bucks, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so with the possible resurgence interest of NASA due to the movie Hidden Figures might get a good sell on the cards. True. And I heard they were going to start giving NASA more money as well. So that's awesome. Um, all right. Okay. 75 or not, Henry says, okay. Yeah, aim high. True, true. Thanks, Stacy. Okay, so next up, what have I got for you? Hello. <laughs> a purple lily. Now that I, re I found out that your name is Lydia, I want to sing to you all the time. I don't know if you know the Lydia song, but now it's like one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Every time I see you, I'm like, I want to start singing Lydia. Okay, so next up, I got this today at the Goodwill. It was, ugh, it's really tight, 99 cents, but it is a vintage, don't break, don't break, um, makeup mirror. It's oval. One side has got the magnifier. One side is, you have not heard it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to break out my song in just a minute. Hang on. I will. Um, so this was 99 cents. It was made in Hong Kong. I think that that logo, that WH, there's like a W H logo there. I think it might be Westinghouse. I'll have to do a little more research on that. But this one, again, I couldn't find the same one. And let's see on Etsy. 
I didn't, again, I couldn't find the same exact one, but I'm seeing like, I'll probably put it around the $20, $25 mark be, just because it's got a bit of damage on it. There's a little chip. Um, so let me stop screen sharing there. So yeah, there's a little, which I didn't notice. My husband pointed it out. There's a little chip right there. But I think because it's just so cool, it's still going to sell. Okay, Lydia. Oh my gosh. So there's a song. And it's in, where's Groucho? So Groucho sings it, actually, in one of his movies. And then I think, like, Kermit the Frog ends up singing it, too, right? It goes, Lydia, oh, Lydia, say, have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattoo lady. She's got eyes that folks adore so, and a torso even more so. Lydia, oh, Lydia. Yep, that encyclopedia. Lydia, the queen of tattoos. On her back is the Battle of Waterloo. The side at the wreck of the Hesperus, too. And proudly above weighs the red, white, and blue. You can learn a lot from Lydia. And goes on. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's really good. Google it. <laughs> or I'll sing the rest. <laughs> okay, I won't subject you to any more singing for now. <laughs> so this is a <laughs> mug I got today um, for 99 cents at the... Now I'm really embarrassed. I'm blushing. <laughs> um, at the Salvation Army that we went to today. So it's La Belline, and it's a uh, French... You know, it says the whale in French. And it is Tyler and Ing. And, um, sorry, now I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> is the brand of the mug. So let me screen share what I found about that. Here we go. So this mug, this brand does pretty well. So this Taylor and Ing Baleen Whale mug, these are sold. Sold. Um, for 50 bucks on eBay, this one sold 44, um, <laughs> 33, 48. So look, this one went on, you know, they did bid on this one. This is one my, I think my mom has this one with the cat on it. I need to go raid her pantry. Um, so this mug, yes, this is why I still pick up mugs. When I saw that, I was like, oh, that's cool. Okay. And then I dug, I did look it up and yeah. Okay. So <laughs> let me see in the chat. Oh, thanks, Encore. Yes, it's from the Marx Brothers movie, so he does sing that. It's really good. Uh, I used to, I sing to my boys in at, at bedtime, you know, and then when the different parts of the body where the tattoos are, like it's like a tickle song. So like when he she talks about the different things, <laughs> yeah. So it's really cute. We we have fun with that song. So. Do you, did I know the value of the mug when I bought it? I didn't. I just saw it. Okay, I saw it, and I I thought it looked unusual, and so I looked it up in the store. And when I looked it up, I realized that the cat one, I was like, my mom has that cat one. And so, yeah, I did look it up. If I see, like, something unusual or, I don't know, you don't see too many whale like that. Beline, la beline, right? So... 45 bucks for a mug is nuts. Yeah, and I'm look, look at the dates, too. It's like, because I like to see, like, oh, was this, like, forever ago? No. Like, yeah. These, this was in March, March 6th, March, February 12th, February 9th. My screen sharing. Okay, good. Yeah, so these are all pretty recent. So I need to get that bad boy up. <laughs> now, every time I see you, Lydia, I'm going to want to sing. Um, come back for the next verse and the next video. <laughs> okay, so next up, I picked up, <laughs> hi, all things collectible. How many thumbs down did I get for my singing? That's what I want to see now. Oh, no, good. <laughs> so I picked up these um, butterflies. These are real butterflies. Uh, I picked this up because I've sold them before where it was just like one butterfly in there if they're real like taxidermy sort of butterflies. So this was a buck ninety nine, and it's got it in what is that in Chinese characters? It's got the Latin, and then it's got oh I don't know. There's there's two separate kinds of characters on there, which I don't know. Is it Japanese, Korean? I don't know. So, um, this was a buck ninety nine, and let me see. I could, again, I didn't I couldn't find the same exact one, but I don't know. I always tend to price higher because I because. So here's one that's kind of similar that is $22.50. Wait, let me see if these are sold or if these are not sold. Upsy daisy. Here we go. These are, okay, these are sold. So I'll probably put, 
I don't know, because it's already in the shadow box. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> this one, you know, this one's going for 30. This one is 64. It kind of depends. Like, I think this one it went for so much because of the type of butterfly it was. So I will probably, I may have to search the two different kinds of butterflies are, that are in here. But I'm thinking I'll put at least 30 bucks on it. Look at this one, see? Emperor butterfly, real butterfly shadow box mount, 40 bucks. Yeah. So. Yeah, if I if I go find look, here's another one. That one sold for forty three. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more search on the types, the two types that I have, and see if that particular kind of butterfly is desirable. So we'll see. Let's see. Lonnie says uh, he sold some butterflies before six of them. It was an international buyer, so global shipping. You got sixty bucks for yours. Yeah, I do. Um, I do. I do do global shipping. And sometimes it doo-doos me, but that's okay. <laughs> so next up, <laughs> hey, Julie. Okay, that's more with the butterfly research. Oh, okay, the next thing I picked up is for me. So I'm just saying, there's, there was this bag, and I was like, what? No way. Anybody? I'll, I'll start opening and taking it out. Anybody in the chat got guesses as to what I have in this bag? Let's see if I can get one to work so you can hear it. That's a clue. <laughs> that is a clue. Anybody? Any takers? No? How about this one? Hang on. There's that. And there's this one. This is a, this one, come on now. You gotta know this one. Right? Not lightsabers. There's more bits and more bits. Nobody? Nobody? Oh, come on. I'm not the only geek here. I can't be. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going too fast. No, it's not. <laughs> Sonic screwdrivers. Yes. So this is like a whole kit full of, <laughs> no, not what you're saying in the chat. It is Sonic screwdrivers because you know all the different doctors from Doctor Who, they have like, they all have their own like screwdriver, <laughs> Sonic screwdriver. And so it's like all these bits where you can like personalize your own Sonic screwdriver. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's that. It's like that. <laughs> yes, I can say the world now. Caroline says, okay, stay over there. <laughs> so those, yeah, I saw that. I was like, yes. And the ladies I was with was like, what? What's that? <laughs> I saw the screwdriver. Oh my gosh. So here's the kit. Here it is. This is on um, Amazon. So they're selling on Amazon for $32.95. Um, <laughs> and then here's one on Jet for 30 bucks. I was just really excited for myself. So I'm, you know, I'm just like, yay, Sonic Screwdrivers. This one was making noise too earlier. I don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Screwdrivers. Okay. So, uh, hey, that one mom, how's it going? Um, so next up, I, oh, okay. So this I got today too. This was at the, what was it? This, must, this was at Salvation Army as well. So this little cross, um, it's brass and sterling silver. I paid $3.10 for it. And let me show you the back. There is, you know, it says brass, it says sterling. And then in the middle, it's like a little house. And there's a J and a C. And... I remembered the mark because I have I've seen it and remember in a whole video saying, ah, somebody help me. What does that JC stand for? And it stands for Jeep Collins. Was it in sand dollar, Michelle? <laughs> Maybe it was in the sand dollar. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. So, was it sand dollar, Salvation Army? I get, I, we have went to so many today. Okay, so this is this stands for Jeep Collins. And... This is the little cross, and let me screen share with you the Jeep Collins stuff that I found. So here we go. Uh, so yeah, here are some solds of Jeep Collins copper sterling silver jewelry. This was on auction, so it went for 38 bucks. Um, I'm skipping this one because it's not got the brass, it's just the sterling silver. So here's one that was 20. And I couldn't find my same exact one. Here's another one that was 36, but it doesn't have the cross. So I don't know if that's going to help or hinder it. Um, 
scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Again, I could not find the same one that I've got. See, this is why I don't like auctions. Oh my gosh, that's too little for me. So, um, I will probably put it up, you know, the probably 40 bucks with best offer because, because I'm gonna throw it on myself. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Ta -da! So that was that. See, no, yeah, we went to so many thrift stores today. There's this, in Pasadena, where I grew up, there's a big, long street called Spencer, and it's just got tons of, you know, like, Alamo Thrift Store, Sand Dollar, Salvation Army, Thrift Star. I mean, we just like, boom, 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 all in a row. And so we just went down, and they all started blending together, you know. Oh, it's cold there? Oh, dear. We're, we're not cold here. So, okay, next up. I'm oh, sorry, I got sidetracked by the chat. Okay, then also, I got this, where did I get this one? Salvation Army? I'm gonna say Salvation Army again. I could be wrong. So it's a giant, big pumpkin. It's like as big as my palm, like so. Copper, um, mixed metal, I really liked it. And I think uh, that what I'm seeing in the solds and what's up there, I, I feel like I could get more for it. So I spent two fifty on this because at Salvation Army, the jewelry, you know, it's like necklaces, like pendants and brooches are like two fifty, earrings are a buck fifty or something like that. So I kind of paid up for me for this brooch, but here, and I didn't look it up. I was just like, that's awesome. It's giant. Let's do this. So here's one, you know, nineteen ninety nine, but it said best offer was taken, accepted. Um, again, that's the 1999 one. Oh, this is me doing my search. Here's more of my search. So here's one that was Etsy, 26 bucks. This one, 13, which I'm not going to do. So I'll probably put it up at like 25 bucks. Um, I'm trying to decide maybe, you know, getting a black cord to go with it. Cause I'm thinking like, I'm wearing a black shirt. You know, if, if it's Halloween time, somebody might want it on there. It really pops, you know what I mean? So for sure, like, when I take a picture of this, I'm going to have it on a black, you know, surface. So, because if you, if you look at the one that's up there, you know, it's, I mean, it looks okay. It's on white. The picture looks good. I'm not going to diss their picture. But I feel like it's going to pop more <laughs> on black, you know. That's, that's what I think, so. Plus, you're going to wear it like, oh, I wonder what that's going to look like on my black sweater for Halloween, right? Okay, next up, <laughs> Quirky Girl says, finally found the chat. Yay! All right, I also paid up for this one, which eh, maybe I shouldn't have. So this was also there at Salvation Army. So this was $2.50. But I just thought it was cool, this watermelon brooch. And it's kind of three-dimensional, like so. And, again, not it's not going for a ton but I just I thought it was cool I liked it the pumpkin would be great for a school teacher Diana says yes okay so here we go um nine dollars on this one on eBay and I didn't really find another one so I paid like 250 for this so I'm probably still gonna list it for 12.99 just because yeah keyword vegan oh yeah there we go summertime some watermelon right when you're in Texas in the summer watermelon is your best friend right nice ice cold watermelon okay next I have this brooch and I sold a mixed metal brooch that had like five sisters on it not long ago and this is it looks like it almost looks like this has been painted or burned on I'll have to do a little more digging about it and again the ones that I saw I felt like I feel like I can get more. I really do. So, because I'm going to use the word like um, worship and praise because it looks like they're, you know, they're in church or something and they're like praising the Lord, right? So I think that, I, you know, worship and praise brooch. Sisters, four sisters, worship and praise. I don't know. There's, there's keywords that I would um, add. So here are some... These, this one is not exact, well, it's shaped like mine, but it's not painted like mine for $19.99. This one, five bucks. Are these sold? These are not sold. Um, I didn't find any sold, but like I said, I'm going to throw in those, you know, worship and praise type keywords because I think that might draw in some more people, 
right? I think. Next, but I, I think I will, yeah, sisters dancing, yeah, for sure. Raising the roof. <laughs> that one is. She's like, yeah. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> so we'll see how it does. This one, oh, what did I pay for this one? This one was at the Goodwill. That's what it was. So this one was 99 cents at the Goodwill. Gospel folk singer. There we go. There we go. Okay. Revival. Oh, good words. Good words. I'm going to have to come back. Okay. Next up. Yeah. I try to think like, who's going to want this? Who, the, what do these girls look like they're doing? Okay. Yeah. They're like, praise the Lord. Right. Running up and down the aisle. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. <laughs> Next is, okay. These little sterling silver earrings and little drop hearts. And these were a buck 99. I did pay up for them, but I'll, Nick, let me see. They they might do okay. We'll see. It's just I have to find out a way to describe them accurately because they're not exactly dangle. They're just sort of drop. They don't swing around. So I don't know. And are these sold? Let's see. Did I not click on sold? I did. So I'm seeing a lot. I mean, you're going to have to wait through a lot for those ones. And I'm not selling them for 99 cents. So I'll probably put them up for 15 bucks or so, maybe more. Revival singers, Diana says. Hang on. Okay, no, okay, no. I thought I had a chiching, but it was something else. <laughs> so um, let's see what else have I got. How many? Okay, we're getting closer. Good. I picked up these ones as well. These were at the Salvation Army. And they're pewter like, uh, wolves, like howling at the moon. And these ones I'll probably end up listing for for about 15, 15 bucks, $17.99, somewhere in there. Let me screen share. I couldn't find the same ones, but Danny, one daily mom, are you going strictly jewelry now? I know you have a major revamp. I'm doing a lot more jewelry, but I'll, I'm still picking up vintage and smalls and things like that, like that cool vase, or if I see, you know, awesome mugs or that rabbit, you know, that kind of thing. So this is similar to what I've got here. Um, yeah, but I, I'm probably going to put $17.99 with best offer on um, those wolves. That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. These are pretty similar. And these, let's see what these are going for. Loading. Okay, these are going for this, but these ones are marked. They have a you know, a maker's mark, so that, that helps that. So, next up, these, I have a couple pair, hang on, let me stop screen sharing. Stop. A couple pairs of glasses that I got at the Salvation, I mean, the Goodwill a while back, $2.99, and then these ones are buck ninety-nine. I'm definitely going for more smalls, um, or, or if, it, if it's like a knick-knack, it's going to be a more ROI on that. So these two glasses, and these ones ended up not being super awesome. Hey, quirky girl. Let's see. Do -do -do. So this is Newport Aviator glasses. You know, the they can get the prescription refilled, prescription refillable. Uh, I couldn't find the same exact one. So they'll probably end up going up for like 20 bucks or so. Yeah. So that's not the same ones. And then these are the Optics Aviator ones. These are sold for, you know, about 15, 20 bucks. Mine are pretty banged up. They, they're they in pretty rough shape. Well, the earpieces look good. But the, the lenses are pretty pretty rough. But if they get them refilled, then, you know, hey, that's cool. All righty. Um, one Danny's mom says, I want to try glasses. I do glasses. But if you really want somebody who does glasses, check out Dorky Thrifters. Becky does glasses like nobody else. So... She, and she knows, she would probably say, Margaret, why'd you buy those? <laughs> that's, that's nuts. No, she wouldn't say that. But I don't, yeah, she knows a lot more about it than me, for sure. So, do I run auctions? Not not generally, no. Okay, the next, okay, I've got a couple other things. One is something we're going to keep, I think. It is this, because it's probably going to go on my wall behind me. It's like a thing. What do you call it? Shadow box type of deal? Wall display? With all the, the things in it. The compartments. The things. The things. That was seven bucks, seven fifty, because it was ten bucks and then twenty-five percent off today. 
So if I were to sell it, let's take a look at what it would go for. I still looked it up. So here's one on Etsy for 21 bucks, and it's kind of like this one, but not gonna be worth $119. <laughs> so yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you just never know. There's people who might buy it. All right. So, uh, but no, I am. I'm keeping that. And then last, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, I picked up this, and there's no mark on it. I got this at the Goodwill for three dollars but look it is a necklace that has got like all this bling on it so there's this one and look all around this purple stone there's these little skulls but they're like they have a bow on their head okay little skulls with bows and then there's like these black flowers and leaves and this thing what is that is that a cat or a wolf i don't know and then another leaf and then a deer and I checked, I mean, I was checking to make sure all the stones were there. So all of them, the stones are there. And then there's like a rabbit on this end. It's almost like, or is that a rat? I don't know. <laughs> it's really different. You know what I mean? It's super different. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know who, I don't know what brand it is. I don't know where it came from. But I was just like, okay, <laughs> I'm getting it. Three bucks. I'm certain I can sell it for more than that. But I, I, again, I looked it up. I couldn't find anything like it. So keyword for the necklace, goth. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, right? It's, I mean, it's got that kind of like Alice in Wonderland quality to it with the, like the animals and the flowers and the like sort of surrealist. It's really cool. So I'm probably going to go pretty high on this necklace. Like... I don't know. I may go crazy and put 50 bucks on it because it's just like I seriously couldn't find a thing like it. Punk rock. But see, I thought maybe Betsy Johnson with the with the little skulls and the bows. Maybe I'll look at Betsy Johnson because it kind of has that look. Watch me say 50 bucks and I look it up and it's like, mm -uh, not even. Wildlife theme. One of those home shopping network things. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you never know. Okay, oopsie, I opened the wrong thing. Okay, well, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to figure it out. Um, jackal, oh, maybe it's a jackal. Yeah, <laughs> could be, could be. Okay, wow, we have 113 viewers, guys. Thanks so much. Um, hey, run over there and hit that thumbs up button for me if you don't mind. And we're gonna head out. But thanks for coming over and apologies or welcome for the singing earlier. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later again. Thank you so much. Bye.